We're here with Johnny Holmes with JW Motorsports. You got a good team of a uh, legends and bandoleros here this week at Winter Nationals, and you guys have been doing this for a long time. Seems like just yesterday that we were down at Punta Gorda, and uh, I remember you guys were probably, man, 11 or 12 years old, you and Josh, and Kevin always gave you guys the support that you needed with the parts and stuff you needed, but I think one of the rules back then was if you guys didn't do the work on them, you didn't go racing. How was it? Was that true? Yeah, he wouldn't. If we didn't work on them, he made us stay at the house. He he was tough on us, and he's been tough on us doing this deal, making sure that we treat our customers right and make sure they're taken care of and everything's how it needs to be to represent ourselves in a good way and respect everything. And we got a good group of drivers here. They they work on them all day. Bryce, you just interviewed. He he comes to Concord with us. He'll. He's at the shop 7 o'clock every day with us, working on his car, working on customers' cars. Again, his late model stock ready to go run some races next year, just trying to find some little bit of more funding for him to do that deal. But all of our drivers, they do great. They've been they've been working their tails off this week. Wyatt, that you just interviewed, he, he's been struggling a little bit. We finally found him some speed. Bryce, we've just been on the short end of the stick with him. And Dana, he's uh, his first time really running some cars, and he's getting better. And we got uh, Bryce, is actually, little brother. He ran the beginner for us, and he's just having fun. And we got Allison out there in our outlaw. So we just got a whole bunch of cars that we've just been plugging away, having some fun, trying to get them better. And back in the day, I mean, you guys always showed up there, whether it either with the Pro Truck or the Legends, and you guys were always there for the win and contending for it. How do you think those days helped develop you, you and Josh both, I guess, for a uh, what you're doing now? And I know not only this, you guys are. are helping run the ARCA team now. Yeah, we've been doing that full time. We just got a car. We got, well, actually, Michael Lear is driving one of our Speedway cars in Daytona tonight or for tomorrow. But he pushed us to do the best we could between Kevin and EJ. We, every time we went to the racetrack, they made sure that, make sure your stuff's fast and everything's under control and go for the win. And that's just the mentality we have. We just make sure we try to bring the best piece of equipment we can to the racetrack every week in and week out. Now, uh, you got one more day here at Winter Nationals. And then are you, you have to try to load up and make it over to Daytona before that ARCA race? The, the ARCA race is actually Saturday morning, so I'm gonna, we're going to load up here tomorrow night, and then we'll head over there and hang out with the ARCA boys and watch Josh run the Xfinity race and hang out with them. Just have some fun on Saturday, take a day off a little bit. I, I know it's kind of bittersweet for him because he had a great run with, a, uh, with the Goslins and everything, and, uh, but... He seems super excited, and I'm excited for him to be uh, in the BJ McLeod ride this year, uh, looking for big things and uh, hoping that you guys get your first win there. Yeah, they've done – he's actually got a good uh, DJ or their crew chief. And they've done a lot of work in this offseason. They put in the work and be ever grateful to the Goslins for giving him the opportunity, and they gave me the opportunity to go help and everything like that. They've always been helpful with everything. It's just it was time to move on and start a new chapter. And, now, Those are going to be some surprises in the future for, now for are him. You, are you still going to be going to the track and helping, or is that kind of they got their own crew, or what's happening there? No, I'm I'm actually coming off the road from doing the Xfinity stuff. I'm just going to hang around the house with my daughter and my wife and go race Legends and locally with the late, mo and the late model and just do stuff like that. Well, hey, thanks for taking time, and good luck the rest of this week. Get your crew out there and get some top finishes. Thank you.